The Big Apple just got a new housewife. And it's history making. Real Housewives of New York City is adding attorney and television host Ebony K. Williams to next season's lineup, marking Roni's first black housewife. Quote, NYC is filled with successful and dynamic black women. I'm excited to join this legendary franchise as the first black housewife, the 37-year-old said in a statement to Access Hollywood. Adding, quote, can't wait to share a slice of life in this city that hasn't been seen before. Anyone who's aware of my work knows I don't hold back. I'm going to keep it just as real here as I do everywhere else. So who is New York City's newest Bravo personality? Well, Ebony is no stranger to the spotlight. She served as host on several talk shows, including her current role as host and executive producer for Revolt TV's Black News. And she recently talked to Access Hollywood about the gig. Being executive producer on Revolt Black News was a mandatory, right? So as you and, and many of us in the field, we've hosted projects, we've been the face um, of projects and in the editorial lens, but I, I had have a legitimate editorial leadership position to do this show because it had to reflect my value system. It had to reflect what I felt was relevant. Ebony will be joining returning housewives Luann De Lesseps, Ramona Singer, Leah McSweeney, and Sonia Morgan. And New York is just the latest franchise to diversify. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills added Garcelle to their star-studded cast last year. The actress recently opened up to Access Hollywood about the pressure she felt being the first black housewife in the franchise. A lot of pressure. I think there was a lot of pressure. One, because I wanted to ma maintain who I am. I really felt like the first season, it's really about the audience getting to know you for those who don't know me, right? right. And then, um, and then, you know, the pressures of like, how am I going to be? Am I going to be, you know, an angry black woman, which were labeled a lot. And that really isn't who I am. So I didn't want to portray something because then I thought people would say, oh, then that's not real. It doesn't seem like her. So I think I put the pressure on myself to, you know, try to continue to be who I am and not fall for the traps that I think people want me to fall into. And looking back, do you feel like you did that? I feel like I really did. I feel like I was definitely true to who I am. I say how it is to a fault. <laughs> um, and I like to have fun. I think, you know what, I'm so blessed to be able to do the things that I do. For me to be bitter and to be harsh all the time is coming from not being gratitude. And I like to come from gratitude as much as I can.